Good morning. I am so excited to see all of you here today. I can't wait to play games, make some cool things, worship with all of you, and see how God wants to help us think about what we're thinking. out of the box crafting challenge. Our crafters will use the supplies in their boxes to make a gift for each other. Let's meet our crafting experts. A fun fact about myself is that I like to collect tiny things like miniature toys and little bitty animal figures. Right now, I'm saving up to buy the world's smallest Viewmaster. Wow, that's really cool. A fun fact about myself is that I have a pet frog named Hopper. So fun. Okay, crafters, it's time. You'll use the supplies in your boxes to make an awesome gift for each other. On my countdown, look in your box and let's get started. Ready? Three, two, one, get crafting. It looks like both of our crafters are off to a quick start. I wonder what you guys are making for each other. I can't wait to see what our final crafts will be. Your frog puppet is awesome. How'd you think of that idea? Well, I was thinking about how Micah said he has a pet frog. And when I saw the supplies, I knew that was what I could do. It was really fun to make. Super creative. And how about this awesome piggy bank? How'd you come up with this? See, I couldn't think of how to make anything tiny with these supplies that they gave me. So I decided to make her a piggy bank, something that will help her save up to buy more things for her collection. That was an out of the box challenge success. Catch it, check it, change it. You can catch any thought you have and you can check it with what God says is right and true. If you're not sure, just ask him. Then if your thought doesn't match what God says, let him help you change it. Catch it, check it, change it. Get on your feet and find a partner. It's time to play rock, paper, scissors. When I say go, you and your partner will make rock, paper, or scissors with your hands. Rock beats scissors, scissors beats paper, and paper beats rock. We're gonna play three rounds. Let's see who wins the most. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, go. Good job. Rock, paper, scissors, go. Nice work. Rock, paper, scissors, go. Way to go. High five your partner and stay standing for a song. Don't live the way the world lives. Don't live the way the world lives. Let your way of thinking be completely changed Don't live the way the world is Don't live the way the world is Let your way of thinking be completely changed I can think, I can use my mind To think about what is good, think about what is right Don't live the way the world is Let your way of thinking be completely changed Don't live the way the world is Don't live the way the world is Let your way of thinking be completely changed I can think, I can use my mind To think about what is good Think about what is right
has got a lot to say Our God says that the way we think has got to change Catch it, check it, see what God has got to say Let Him change it, you see there is no better way There is no better way Don't live the way the world is Don't live the way the world is let your way of thinking be completely changed Don't live the way the world is Don't live the way the world is Let your way of thinking be completely changed Don't live the way the world is Don't live the way the world is Let your way of thinking be completely changed Completely changed Great job! You can take a seat. I can choose what I think about. Let me tell you about a time that God helped me change my thoughts before I made a ginormous mistake. It all started when Miss Junkins reminded us that we would have a test on stars, planets, and the moon first thing on Monday morning. That weekend, my team won the first two games of our softball tournament. Go Stallions! So we had to stay and play a third game and I completely forgot to look at my science study guide. So during school breakfast on Monday, I got Riley, only the smartest kid I've ever met in my entire life, to help me study. I told her I was just writing down the facts to practice, but really, I was planning to keep them in my hoodie pocket for test time. How was I supposed to remember that Jupiter is the great comet catcher, Neptune is the supersonic winds, and Venus is the planet without any moons? It just all gets so jumbled up in my brain. When Mrs. Duncan handed out the test, I was so nervous that she would catch me cheating. But she wasn't looking, so I was good to go. But then, God helped me stop and think about the choice I was about to make. A Bible verse popped into my brain. Agree with what God says is right. Romans 12, 2. I knew it wasn't right to cheat, so I decided to stop thinking about cheating and never put out the notes from my hoodie. I made a 64 on my test and had to retake it. Yikes. But it's better than how I would have felt if I had cheated, and it's way better than what could have happened if I gotten caught. In that moment, I was thankful God reminded me that I can choose to think about what He says is right, true, and best. Exercise your brain by shouting out the answers to some brain teasers. I'm not alive, but I have five fingers. What am I? A glove. I get smaller every time I take a bath. What am I? A bar of soap. What is harder to catch the faster you run? Your breath. Let me tell you about a guy in the Bible named Naaman. Naaman, my man. Hello. Uh, who's that again? Naaman was a commander in the king's army. Leading an army? Respect. Yep, he had a really important job, but Naaman struggled with a terrible skin disease. Itchy rash, dude, that's rough. It was leprosy. He had spots that made his skin look as white as snow. Oof, I'd be hitting up that doctor, stat. It wasn't that easy, but one of the girls who worked as a servant for Naaman heard about a man named Elisha who could heal him. Problem solved. Headed to pay Dr. E, the best leprosy specialist in all the land, a little visit. Elisha wasn't a doctor. He was a prophet, and God is the one who gave him the power to heal people. But you're right. As soon as Naaman heard that someone could help, he went to the king and asked for his permission to go and find Elisha. Pack the bags. It's time for a road trip. Oh, but wait. The king did let him go, right? The king not only gave Naaman permission to go find Elisha, but he even gave him horses and chariots for his journey. So. Naaman rolling up to Elisha's place in style. When Naaman got to Elisha's house, he was surprised when Elisha didn't come out to talk to him, huh. an important commander in the king's army. Oh, look at me. Instead, Elisha sent a message and told Naaman to bathe in the Jordan River seven times. Then he would be completely healed. Yay. Get in that fuzzy robe and shower cap. Scrub-a-dub-dub, my man. Not so fast. Naaman wasn't happy. He thought he was so important that Elisha should have waved his hand over him and healed him immediately. He didn't think taking seven baths in a river would really make a difference. Beggars can't be choosers. Naaman should just do what Elisha said. 
He is one of God's messengers after all. Naaman's servants were probably thinking the same thing, and that's why they convinced him to do what Elisha said. Get the lavender-scented bubble bath, fellas. It's bath time. No bubbles, but Naaman did eventually do what Elisha told him to do. And of course, his body was completely healed. Wahoo! Miracle alert! Naaman was so happy that he went back to Elisha and told him that he was sure there was no other god like the one Elisha served. From that day on, Naaman chose to believe in the one true god. Now that's what I'm talking about. Good choice, Naaman. And he was so excited about being healed that he wanted to give Elisha a gift. Yay! Thanks for the healing. Here's a scooter for your troubles. Well, not that kind of gift, but Elisha refused to take it, no matter how much Naaman begged. Um, why? Because he knew that he wasn't the one who had really healed Naaman. God had done it, and he deserved all the praise and gifts. But one of Elisha's servants, Gehazi, was listening in, and he thought Elisha should definitely take the gift. Gehazi's over there trying to take that scooter out for a spin around the neighborhood. Um, anyways... Elisha went back home and Gehazi went after Naaman. Chasing that chariot. But what happened when G finally flagged him down? Well, he told Naaman that his master had sent him to ask for 75 pounds of silver and two sets of clothes. Silver and swag? I'd totally be down for that. Naaman was so thankful that he ended up doubling the amount of silver Gehazi asked for. He sent Gehazi back to Elisha's house with 150 pounds of silver and the two sets of clothes. Elisha's about to have that time to open presents at my B-Day party kind of feeling. Not exactly. Gehazi got back and lied to Elisha, saying he hadn't been anywhere. Elisha knew he wasn't telling the truth. Trying to put stuff past Elisha? The guy who used God's power to heal someone? Um, nothing good can come from that, right? Right. As a consequence for his wrong thinking and bad choices, Gehazi was struck with the same skin disease that Naaman had. Oh, yeah. Yowza. Didn't see that coming. Naaman's story reminds us that we have choices to make when it comes to our thoughts. When Naaman went to see Elisha, he was thinking about himself and what he deserved instead of what God said he needed to do. But when he chose to do what God said, he saw that God was right and decided to believe in him. And bravo to my man Naaman. Too bad G didn't follow in his footsteps. Exactly. Gehazi chose to think about money and lying, and he experienced the consequence for that wrong thinking. Each day we can choose what we think about, and when we test out thinking God's way, we'll see that he is right. I can choose what I think about. Everybody get on your feet. It's time to sing.
Great job. You can take a seat. Memorizing verses from the Bible will help us remember what God says when we're checking our thoughts. Let's see if we can memorize this verse from Romans 12, 2 together. Say this after me. Don't live the way the world lives. Let your way of thinking be completely changed. Then you will be able to test what God wants for you. And you will agree that what he wants is right. Romans 12, 2. Now let's see if you can remember it after we cover up some words. Don't live the Don't live the way the world lives. Let your Let your way of thinking be completely changed. Then you will be able to then you will be able to test what God wants for you. And you will agree that what he wants is right. And you will agree that what he wants is right. Romans 12, 2. Way to go! Recap what we've learned today in exactly 10 words. No more, no less. I can choose to think about what God says about trumpets. <laughs> Reading the Bible can help us know what God says. Yeah! yeah. Hey. God changed Naaman's thoughts when he listened. He was healed. Good job. Good job. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Gehazi chose to only think about himself and spaghetti scented sneakers. Mm, mm, mm. I can choose what I think about. Today has been so much fun, but before we go, guys, bow your heads, close your eyes, and pray with me. Hey, God, thank you for helping us with every thought we have. When we catch our thoughts and check them with what you say is true, help us to have the courage to change them to what's right. We give our thoughts to you. Amen. Lots of thoughts pop into our minds each day, and we can choose which thoughts we allow to grow in our minds and which ones we catch and ask God to help us change. We will feel better and make better choices when we choose to think about the things that God says are true and right. And that's what we need to know today. I can choose what I think about. Now let's pray together. God, thank you for helping us catch, check, and change our thoughts. Give us the courage to think about what you see as right, true, and best. We love you so much, and in Jesus' name we pray, amen. I have had so much fun over the past couple months learning just how powerful our thoughts are. Catch it, check it, change it is a great way to let God help us change our thoughts so that we can do what he says is best. I'll see you again next week with a new series.